morning everyone this is farmer Paul uh, early in the morning here and we are showing you the uh, maize people that are out in the maize that are uh, designing and, and uh, cutting our cornfield maize the process starts with the design and we have to decide what the theme of the maize will be and what we want it to look like to convey that theme to uh, the public here and so First thing we have to do once we get here, or they get here, is to flag out the field. You can see there's rows of flags. There's uh, two different color flags, yellow flags and orange flags. And that's marking out a grid in our cornfield maze. Uh, as I mentioned to you when I was planting it, we planted it north and south and east and west. So there's a, a crosshatch in that design. So they go out and they, uh, they develop a grid with the flags so they know exactly where they are in the field and then they will come back and they will um, spray paint the uh, actual design that they have on their cell phones of what it's supposed to look like and then they'll we'll go out and we'll have to kill the corn uh, in those uh, path areas so that you will have a, uh, a path and design to follow when you come out. So in about two weeks I'll come back up and we will look at the maize as the corn probably by then will probably be a foot tall it's only about four inches tall right now and we'll be able to see the the maize uh, design starting to emerge here at Siegel's Cottonwood Farm so we'll come back in two weeks and this field will look totally different hopefully we'll have a rain between now and then and uh, the corn will grow maybe to be 10 or 12 inches tall by then um, and we'll be able to see the the design starting to show up in the corn. So um, Farmer Paul is up on the on the mountain. We'll come back here and talk again from the mountain so that we can all see just what that cornfield maze looks like. So Farmer Paul signing off for now from Siegel's Cottonwood Farm, where of course you can always have affordable fun on the farm at Siegel's Cottonwood Farm. Farmer Paul saying goodbye for now.